Good evening and welcome to AJ's non-league vlog. I'm coming to you from South East London and I've come down uh, from work to come and watch Cray Valley Paper Mills versus Northwood in that FA Cup second round replay. Uh, well, have I come down here for this game in particular? Well, the winners of this play are Shorten Athletic at Coastal Avenue on the 3rd of September. So it was a uh, sort of keen interest and, uh, you know, it's all, you know, to be done really. Um, yeah, because uh, both teams uh, played uh, at Northwood on Saturday, Saturday and drew 2 2. Um, Bagel and Parker were the goal scorers for Cray, for Cray on Saturday. And uh, Alexander Guernsey and Williams were the goal scorers for um, Northwood in a hard, hard fought 2 2 draw when uh, both teams took the lead. Um, uh, as the league standings, um, Cray Valley. Uh, are currently sitting in third place in the um, Michigan South S East League and Northwood are currently sitting down in ninth place in the Michigan South Central League. So uh, yeah, it's um, yeah, we're at the same level, so I'll be interested to see how it goes. Uh, as for, uh, you know, obviously, you know, uh, Steve McKim and Barry Moore were in charge of car short in last season, but then got um, got dumped by, an, by the owner at the end of it, so they've come down here. And uh, there's been there's quite a few ex Carshawn players here as well. Uh, Arthur Lee, Kelvin Petita, uh, signed very recently after being released from the Robins, and Matthew Vega, who was a known to Carshawn last season from Crystal Palace. Uh, Crystal Palace released him, and uh, um, but uh, yeah, he came down here because uh, Steve knows how, knows how he plays. So um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how this goes. Be, uh, I'm pretty sure Steve McKim will probably want to. Uh, come through this game and then I think they probably, probably want to put one over Paul Dupree which is totally understandable for the way they were treated in the last season but uh, that's football that's the way it goes but uh, yeah hopefully for a really good game here an exciting one hopefully we'll see some goals uh, it'll be extra time and penalties if need be but hopefully it won't be too late but um, yeah let's see how this goes but uh, I'll be back at half time with a round up of how it comes and uh, in the next couple of days I'll have highlights up on my YouTube channel so until half time, talk to you later. Eight minutes gone, it's Craig Valley, Paper Mills 1, Northwood 0. Uh, it's Robin, Matty Vega on the eighth minute, along by the top, and uh, he's in the right place to fire it home to, to make it 1 0 to the home side. Um, Mr. Gull, I was too busy talking to people. But uh, yeah, Four. 1 0. Four. <laughs> That's a beauty. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he fell over. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if you were nice to me. Oi, oi! Yeah, well done. I'm gonna go to get my 
coat from the car. I think I might need it. Right, half time here at the Arctic Stadium and it's Crate Valley 1, Lawford 1. I've been in some entertaining first half. I mean, Cray Valley started off really strongly. Um, uh, had a few chances, but then uh, X Robin, Matty Vega, was in the right place at the right time to put them 1 0 up. Um, they had a couple of chances after that, but then Northwood slowly got themselves back into the game. And uh, so, and then they, they kind of really sort of battled it. Uh, but uh, on 34 minutes, they got an equaliser, which they probably deserved uh, for their pressure because uh, they can't. I think Craig kind of stopped playing after they went 1 0 up and now they're all put back into the game. But uh, yeah, lovely free kick from Harry Gallagher on the 34th minute to make it 1 1. And uh, Northwood finished the, uh, finished the half really strong. And uh, so, you know, sort of, so to make it sort of make it an interesting game. So um, yeah, it's an entertaining game so far. I like say Craig started off really well. They had the first probably 20 minutes or so, and Northwood probably had the last 20 minutes or so. to come in the second half. Uh, it's currently 1-1 one, one, and um, yeah, it could even go to section time penalties. Let's hope not. We've got quite a lot of car short in here as well. I think we've got more car short with fans than Northwood fans here, if I'm being honest. But uh, yeah, it's good to see. So uh, yeah, half time here at Cray Valley. It's Cray Valley 1, Northwood 1. And we're off the second half. Oh! Oh! Why? Oh, good stop. Go on, have a pop. Oh, he skied it. Oh, it's in. Yeah, One minutes played at Cray Valley One, Northwood Two. Uh, free kick from the far side of the pitch, uh, found the back post. That man Harry Gallagher was up again with the free header at the far post to make it two one to Northwood. So uh, yeah, pretty even up to then. Uh, Cray brought him on seventeen at half time, and he's still very useful putting a couple of good balls, but uh, not really taking advantage of it. But uh, yeah, currently sixty one minutes played. Cray Valley 1, Northwood 2. Oh! Much about that, but he got there. <laughs> oh! 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 Northwood 2. Uh, could be a third one here. Okay. Yeah, 
was crate two, Northwood two, it's now crate three, Northwood two. They turned it around in two minutes. Uh, oh my God. Zin. Sunny Black. <laughs> it's now three, three. I give up. <laughs> it's now three, three. Right, quick recap. Uh, Cray made it 2-2 through Sunny Black. Uh, within a couple of minutes, uh, they hit him on the counter attack. Cray went 3-2 up. And now, within five minutes of that, it is now 3-3. So we're still looking at extra time. Um, Northwood's uh, third goal score to follow, but uh, yeah, it's Cray 3, Northwood 3. Goal score for Northwood number 5, North Tingy. Monk Tingy was the goal scorer. For Northwood. Could be a long night. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah! In this! <laughs> So, after 90 minutes, it's finished Cray Valley 3, Northwood 3. So we are now going into uh, extra time, 30 minutes. Um, that's, that last 10 minutes was just phenomenal. I think all three goals came in about the last, well, I think they came in about a minute spell. Um, cracking, cracking last 10 minutes, but uh, yeah, and, um, goalkeeper got the uh, Northwood goalkeeper and a couple of good saves near the end as well. I mean, Cray have got this tricky 17 and he's really gave them come on at half time as a sub. He's been looking really useful and he's caused lots of dangers down the, uh, down the wing there. But um, yeah, it's 3-3 uh, yeah, free free and we're going into extra time. And the keeper open goal and he skied it. Oh, oh, dear. Oh. Right. Five minutes into extra time, it's Cray Valley four, Northwood three. Uh, Coombs with a good finish uh, to make it for free to Cray Valley. Yeah, 
Oh, Have it! it. <laughs> Not for route one. Not oh, with the wind, that could go in, that could go in. Time score here after extra time, we have finished Craig Valley 4, Northwood 3, which means our short and our home team Craig Valley and Steve McKim on the 3rd of September. He's going to enjoy that one. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, I think the second half, uh, I mean the second half, both teams got tired really, I mean there's a lot of front ball forwards and all that, which, you know, no surprising, they've played that bit for 120 minutes, but uh, yeah, I think overall, um, it's a pretty easy game, both, both teams had spells, which they helped each other, and uh, Northwood finished the first part of stoppage time, uh, first half of extra time really really strongly but um yeah sec second half of extra time was just a bit of a bit of a non-event really uh both teams ties and uh, cray valley just holding on to what they got which you can't blame them for so yeah that's it from me aj um i'll be back on saturday with uh infield town versus Carshaw and athletic so uh thank you thank you for watching and it's uh finished there cray valley four Northwood 3 and Carl Sean the Flick are home to Cray Valley in the third qualifying round.